We're here in Ottawa, the nation's capital, and I wanted to take you on a little bit of a tour of some of the places that mean something to me, because for about 10 years, this was my town. The best place to start in a tour of Ben's Ottawa is where I live. This is 24 Sussex Drive. The home of the Prime Minister of Canada and his or her family. And I lived here from the time I was 6 to 16. It was a fabulous place to grow up. A lot of wonderful memories behind these gates. A long time ago when I lived in Ottawa, I would help out on the annual telethon for the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario. And we're going to go inside and talk to a local legend. Oh, there he is. Ben Mulroney. J.J. Clark. I don't know if you remember, but you're probably one of my first on-air colleagues. Almost every year, you and your mom yeah. and your sister and brother came in to do that telephone. And we put you on the kids' phone. Yeah, I have fondly remember those days. J.J., thank you so much for spending some time with me. It's great to catch up. I know you have a show to do, so I'm going to let do. you get back to it. Now, when I was a kid, I was a bit of a child actor, and I performed in a play called Angel Square right behind us at the National Arts Center. As you can see, the NAC is going through quite the facelift right now. It's a $110 million reno, all in anticipation of Canada's 150th anniversary next year. That is going to be a party. Now, speaking of party, Angel Square. My character was a deeply flawed he was textured, he was conflicted, he was a mystery. His name, Coco La Framboise. So in preparing for the role of Coco La Framboise, I would come here to the Ottawa Public Library and I searched the, uh, the Dewey Decimal System. They didn't have these computers back then. Long after the, the play was done, I kept coming back here uh, because I just loved this place. I would study here and I'd hang out here. As you could sense, I wasn't much of a rebel back then and you know, so the library was my home. All right, now that I've shown you some of my favorite places in town, we're going to finish this up in style. Now, when I say style, I'm talking curly fries and milkshakes at the greatest diner in Ottawa, Zach's Diner, and we're doing it with one of my best friends and most important mentors in my life, Michael McSweeney. Come on. For the people at home who don't know, Michael is my godfather, but I also happen to be godfather to his son. Well, talk to me about how you first came into contact with my family. I was uh, driving taxi, picked up your dad one night after a press gallery dinner, and he gave me his card and said he wanted to come to Ottawa more often. He'd like to have a regular person pick him up. You became family. We've gone through a lot of stuff. We've gone, and I think you brought some pictures. Is yes. that right? You no, know, this is when uh, you oh. came and lived at the speaker's. Uh, That's right. The speaker's house. Look how young everybody was. I look like my son John. There we are. Yeah. I was yeah. in my fifth Beetle phase here. Yeah, fifth Beetle phase. This is the only part of Sussex worth saving. The pool. See, this is in the pool at 24 Sussex, right by the side. Oh, the boat. I was just thinking about this bathing suit a few days ago. I missed this bathing suit. Uh, looks Perfect. great. Perfect. Even better. As you remember. Yeah, as I remember. That's Cheers. Perfect, man. Thanks so much. 